Siobhan. Hi. Welcome to Star Test, the computer interview. Please just relax and enjoy yourself. I'll try. <laughs> Um, essentially, I'm the lead singer with Shakespeare's sister. That's as succinct as I can be at this stage. Here are nine categories of questions. Please select a category by simply touching the screen. Before and after. Please choose any number. Number... Two. What would you like to have been if you'd had a different career? A painter. Number 11. Did you ever run away from home? A couple of times, yeah. Actually, I was running away all the time, but I never ever got very far. I'd sort of get down the road and get confused as to where I was going. And so I always ended up going home when I got hungry or ran out of money. <laughs> which wasn't, didn't take me very long. Um, number 13. If you could meet yourself as a 16-year-old, what advice would you give yourself? I'd say, don't worry, it's going to be all right. Um, that's about all I could tell, tell myself. Number nine. What was the last note you wrote in your diary? I don't actually keep a diary. I used to keep them frantically when I was in my teen years, when, no when nothing was really happening to me. And when my life got interesting, I, I never really found time to keep a diary. So, I suppose the last entry I've ever made in the diary was probably something like, I had to write an essay on Richard II, or something equally riveting. Next, number... One. Where do you see yourself in ten years from now? Uh, I actually don't think deeply about the future because I'm too busy living in the present and enjoying myself. And I just expect to be enjoying myself equally in ten years' time. I don't know what I'll be doing, but hopefully I'll be having a good time. Number eight. Were you a bully at school? Well, there are different opinions on that. <laughs> I mean, I think I stood up for myself. Um, next, <laughs> number three. How much of a kid are you? <laughs> God. Um, well, I try to stay as childlike as possible. I've always hated any kind of responsibility and uh, shied away from it, so I suppose I'm still a bit of a, a prat. <laughs> now please select a new category. Life and fortune. Hi, Elf. Please choose any number. Number five. What is your vision of heaven? Um, <laughs> well, being a lapsed Catholic, the immediate picture that springs to mind is sort of fluffy clouds and angels and bugles and things, but um, I don't know, heaven is what you make it. Number seven. Have you ever been to a fortune teller? I absolutely love going to fortune tellers. Uh, but I haven't been for about two years. I always seem to go when I'm really confused and they kind of tell you things that you think are incredibly accurate at the time and then you forget what they said about a week later. I must go again soon. Um, number three. Do you believe in ghosts? Yeah, I, I really believe in ghosts. I always have done, and um, I'm terrified of seeing one. But apparently I saw one when I was a baby. I used to tell my mum about an old lady who used to come and visit me in my cot and play. And she was the previous occupant of the, the flat we were living in at the time. She died in the flat. A bit morbid. 
But, uh, I still do believe in them. Number two. What was the greatest risk you've ever taken? I suppose the greatest risk I've ever taken. I was always taking a lot of sort of physically dangerous risks when I was a child, like playing on rooftops and, and going down dangerous tunnels and things like that. Yeah. I don't tend to do things like that anymore unless I'm drunk. <laughs> Number one. Who were you in your last life? You know, I'm dying to find out. I'm going to go and do that thing, past life regression. If it, it might make some sense of what I'm doing now. Uh, number six. How optimistic are you about the future of the world? Uh, not too optimistic about the future of the world, actually. I, I get kind of worried about that. But, uh, I don't know, you've got to start doing things about it. I think if, if people lobbied governments and governments passed more stringent environmental laws, we'd have more of a hope. Fifteen. Name three great things about being you. <laughs> um, three great things about me. Three stops over, three quarters on, <laughs> and shop from above. What was the first record you bought? It was Ain't No Sunshine by Michael Jackson. Who is your favourite painter? My favourite painter is Leonardo da Vinci. Who is your favourite singer? Edith Piaf. What car do you drive? It's a BMW convertible. Who is your favourite designer? John Galliano. Which is your favourite club? I haven't got one. Would you rather drink a tequila slammer or a gin fizz? A lager and blackcurrant, thank you. Which is your favourite city? London. Which is your favourite sport? Tennis. Where did you last go on holiday? Thailand. Do you prefer pineapple or mango? Definitely pineapple. When did you last have a haircut? About a year ago. Do you like bubble gum? Very much. Who is your favourite director? David Lynch. She's got it. Yeah, baby, she's got it. Please select a new category. Um, power and glory. Please choose any number. Number three. Who are your heroes? My heroes. Patty Smith. Um, Edith Pierre. Uh, Morrissey, 16. Did you win any prizes at school? Um, yeah, I, I was always sports girl of the year. <laughs> but uh, that's about it, really. Number 11. How far do you need to be successful? Um, I think the main thing is if I feel pleased with what I've done um, the rest is just a bonus really if you're successful in the eyes of other people number nine how nervous do you get before a performance well it's really strange because before a performance 
I kind of block it out of my mind that it's going to happen. And I'm really calm. And then when I'm on stage, the moment I hit the stage and I see the audience, my legs turn to jelly and I, <laughs> and I feel faintly sick and forget my lines. Number one. What do you most dislike about being famous? What do I most dislike? I don't really like uh, what the gutter press write about you and you've got no defence against it. But it's just one of those things. Number 15. Are you a bad loser? Are you a bad loser? I hate losing. <laughs> Stop trying to take it on the chin. Here are nine categories of questions. Please select a category by simply touching the screen. Honor and justice. <laughs> Please choose any number. Number 12. How much interest do you take in world events? I'm totally fascinated by world events and uh, I try and keep up with them via TV news. It's kind of difficult when you travel around a lot though. Number eight. How severely do you judge yourself? Probably too severely. I, 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 th I think people waste too much time judging themselves. I'm trying to wean myself off that rather nasty habit. Number five. Which laws would you choose to change? Uh, I'd prevent the introduction of poll tax. I'd reinstate the Fair Rent Act. Um, there's probably loads of others, but I can't think of them at the moment. Number 15. How easy do you find it to admit to mistakes? I'm sorry, I find that really difficult. Um, yes, I, I can't stand being criticised. I always have a row about it, knowing I'm in the wrong. Number ten. How good a liar are you? Absolutely awful at lying. I never even attempt it because it's just so transparent. Now please select a new category. Mm. Inside and out. Sounds ominous. Please choose any number. Number nine. Which animal best describes your personality? <laughs> uh, well, apparently I was born in the Chinese year of the dog, which has always worried me a bit. Number one. Is there a recurring dream you have? Uh, not anymore, no. I dreamt I was possessed the other night, which, which hopefully won't recur again. Uh, number 14. What are your irritating habits? Um, I'm very indecisive. Um, I refuse to take responsibility for anything. <laughs> Um, I think they're the most irritating things I'd, about me. Number three. How does stress affect you? I usually become insomniac when I'm stressed out, which um, makes it worse, really. Um, Number eight. When do you get your best ideas? Unfortunately, I usually get them about two or three in the morning. Unless I'm going through an insomniac phase, my best ideas aren't committed to paper. Um, number ten. When did you last lose your temper? The last time I lost my temper was a few days ago when the dog knocked over Sam my son uh, number 13 what do you most fear death Ta -da. number five how far is the public you 
the real you. Well, I try and be exactly the same in public as I am in private, but the public me, the same as the public anybody else, is often a, a fabrication of the media. So uh, I'm not really sure, sure what the public perception of me is at this stage. <laughs> so I don't tend to read what they write about me much. Number 15. How many tattoos do you have? I haven't got any real ones, I'm afraid. Too scared of the needle. Please concentrate hard on answering the questions in this section truthfully. If you appear not to be telling the whole truth, you will forfeit the chance to show your video. From the five <laughs> questions which follow, you may pass on just two. You didn't tell me about this one. How did Dave Stewart go about proposing? Um, well, he didn't go down on one knee or anything like that. He didn't pick his moment. It was just we'd been apart from a, for a month and a half. And um, when we were reunited in the heat of the moment, he said, let's have a baby, let's get married. And in the heat of the moment, I said yes and then panicked when it started to come true. Next. What secrets can you reveal about Karen Woodward and Sarah Dallin? Oh, God. I won't pass, I, oh, I'll have to pass on that one. <laughs> How much resentment was there when you left Banana Rama? There wasn't resentment, there was a, a relief all round actually because for a couple of years before I left I wasn't really moving in the same direction of the, as them musically and um, I kept sort of arguing about the way things were going and not wanting to do certain things and feeling very frustrated and, and they were, they knew that I wasn't happy in the band and it, it was a relief to them, I think, and a relief to me when I eventually left. How friendly are you with Annie Lennox? Um, we're f um, f fairly friendly, uh, but we don't see each other that often, apart from when her and Dave are working. But uh, we get on well, yeah. Next. You now have 30 seconds to talk about your latest video. My latest video is, was a scream to do, because my, my best friend directed it, Sophie. And uh, there's a, a fleeting appearance by my son Sam as a bumblebee. And I think he looks really funny in it. And it's fabulous, actually. I just love it. <laughs> select a new category. Uh -oh. Love and passion. Please choose any number. Four. Who do you most love? David Stewart, number nine. How would you describe the perfect relationship? Uh, I suppose it's not being afraid to show any part of yourself to the other person. Um, number 10. 
Who was your first love? My first love? Oh yeah, my first love was when I was five and he was a boy called Simon in my class at school that had the unusual talent of being able to stand on his head without the use of his hands. He just used to balance on the top of his head, which really used to embarrass me in the playground. Number six. Are you a romantic? Yeah, I think I am. Although Dave thinks I'm not. Number 13. What turns you on? <laughs> Mind your own business. Number two. Who was the last man you fantasized about? Not answering that one either. Number eight. What are your passions? What are my passions? Uh, music, mainly. Uh, smells. <laughs> I'm very passionate about smells. Um, number 15. How did you feel when you last fell in love? Out of control. <laughs> Thank you for playing Star Test. Thank you for having me. Have you learned anything about yourself? Not really, no. <laughs> it's just, it just um, has reminded me how little I, I understand myself. Who would you like to see in the star test chair? Morrissey. You are now invited to select five characteristics from the on-screen menu which you feel best illustrate your personality? Um, shy, open, um, naive, paranoid. <laughs> One more to go. Uh, stubborn and creative. Cheated. Goodbye. Bye.